Hi Libra, it's CJ. I hope you're doing well. Um, I'm going to do a reading for you for the new moon, which occurs on October 6th, uh, actually only a few days away. So obviously it's in your sign. So new moon and Libra reading. I've already meditated and um, worked with my guides to have the, the cards they wanted out for you. And I just thought this might be a little bit easier way to um, not waste anyone's time and just get right into the reading. So if I do need to pull any clarifiers, I will. But let's just start. So this new moon in your sign, um, it's going to be a really beautiful one. I know that Mercury retrograde is happening until about October 18th. Um, but you are all about balance and you are all about uh, wanting to keep peace. Um, so I think it's going to be a really good energy to work with and being a new moon we're going to be able to bring in all the things that we want to moving forward and hopefully release a lot of the baggage that maybe we've been carrying. So the cards that you've got Libra, first three came out and it's from my Moonology deck. The first one that came out was be bold and make the first move. Now this is um, a cardinal moon, which you are a cardinal sign. So kind of cool. Um, next card was your dreams need a practical plan and that is full moon in Taurus. And then the next card that came out was if I can pick it up, confidence is your key to success and that is a new moon in Leo. Now, interestingly enough, the cards that my guides gave me, um, five fell out. Out of the five, four of them are actually major arcana. Um, the only one that isn't is the three of wands. And under the deck, we have ace of wands. So let's just get right into this. So Libra, I feel like you have or are going to be starting some kind of a new passion, a new creative um you know, maybe it's a new creative project. This could be even a new relationship, but it's something new because with the Ace of Wands, Aces are always about new beginnings. Uh, this wand for me is always my yes card. So if there's something that you've been wondering about whether you should go for it or not, whether that's a person or a job or a career or business, wherever, it's saying, yeah, you know, use this new moon energy and start making it happen. Aces are, you know, our fire. That's the element of fire. And it is all of those things that light our soul and our heart and really inspire us. So whatever that means to you. And underneath that is the Wheel of Fortune. So it is telling me that if you put the work in this new moon or around this new moon, um, which usually will last the energy, you know, a few days before and all the way, even maybe to up to two weeks after, um, but if you put the work in and you really are focused on what you want, you're going to get it. Because the end card that came out, which is really, I found quite like amazing, is your card. The Justice came out. And it literally was the last card of the five came out all in one group. And it was the very bottom of the card. So when we talk about the Cardinal Moon, being bold and making that first move, the, it's asking you to really take the lead on this, whatever this is. If this is you wanting to ask someone out, do it. Push yourself to do it. Um, you know, it is about being going really full tilt to what you want. Now, I do want to mention also, um, this new moon, if you have a Libra rising, uh, that would affect your first house, which is all about self. So your appearance and everything that it means to you. Now, not everyone has a Libra rising. So um, I would just suggest that go find, if you know you're rising, go see what um, house this new moon in Libra is applying to. Um, so, but if you do have a Libra rising, this reading will apply to you as well. Um, as well as it is applying to the Libras, because that's why I'm doing this reading. So anyways, if there's something that you're really wanting to, to really start making some move on because of the ace of wands you have all the energy supporting you to do this three of wands and it's actually quite beautiful the way it all has come out because it almost looks like the woman that's on this card is looking this way 
the colors are quite similar too in the cards even if you can't see them um, you have to kind of trust me on that but but it is this three of wands is you've already put some work in you've already laid your kind of plans down and you're actually starting to make some momentum um, in this direction there may be a little bit of fear there with the cardinal moon there might be a little bit of like you're not sure if you should go for it go for it you've got the yes card full moon in Taurus it is reminding you though that you do need to make a practical plan it's not something like we just wish on the moon and everything is going to happen we actually have to put the energy and the work into it we have to put the focus into it um, I do also want to say that they were giving me that if there's something you need to forgive or something you need to work through and let go of perhaps maybe even a low energy and negative energy it's time to do that um, you need to be able to really have a clear focus moving forward because if this is a new relationship you don't want to carry the baggage from the past with you if this is a new career or a new passion you're wanting to do you really want to get clear and you want to make sure that you have a lot of room to fill up with all the positivity that is coming your way um, why do I say that because the hermit has come out as well and the hermit is saying okay Libra you may just need to take a little bit of time for yourself to really really get clear on exactly what it is you want and then you're able to start making your plans the hermit also can be just about you really getting um, clear on letting go maybe even of some some things that you know no longer serve you um, <clears throat> you know the hermit is a very powerful energy especially when we may be feeling a little confused I'm not saying you are but if you are it is really kind of a great way to to spend a little time alone on, by yourself whatever go for walks do whatever it is that makes you happy but really just allow yourself to reconnect with you um, judgment has come out oh and the hermit card is a Virgo so maybe you might be dealing with a Virgo judgment card has come out and so I'm really picking up on this that there's some need for some kind of forgiveness whether it's for you or someone else but it seems like there's something that needs to kind of be really healed here and really let go of so that you can rise so that you can shine again and have this brand new start judgment is also like the resurrection right it's um, being reborn we have the new moon and Leo that came out and you know Leo's are you know they're 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 fire sign but I mean like they are um, you know they're the big bold look at me kind of energy and uh, you know Libra you are a beautiful kind of energy and but you're not as loud yes you are very social and you're able to communicate extremely well I mean you are an air sign um, <clears throat> but my guides are saying that this month if there's something around this new moon especially if you want to start laying the foundation of bringing it all to fru fru fruition still struggling with mercury retrograde here speech wise but if there is something that you really are wanting to start this new passion new relation relationship new career whatever that is um, you know they're asking you to step out of what feels kind of safe and really start embracing all the beautiful gifts that you do have because things then are going to really start moving that wheel uh, is really going to start moving in your direction um, the chariot came out and the chariot is cancer card and it is very this is just an incredible reading for you because it feels like you're just going to take some time out to really get clear of what you want you've already started you already know whatever this is um, and you're gonna just kinda have to make a little bit of a plan and release what needs to be released and make room for all this new energy that's coming in perfect for a new moon ritual um, and it's like then things start moving really fast because the chariot is uh, it is a victory card as well as it is you know you being self empowered again you're in the driver's seat and you are really um, in control of the direction that you're going in and the chariot moves fast I mean in this card there, there's just they're moving it's all moving quite fast 
And then with justice coming out, it is this perfect time for you, Libra, to really, whatever it is, relationships, business, jobs, etc. It is really a great time to really get yourself back centered, get yourself really balanced again, and feel, feel really in your element again. So this new moon is looking really awesome for you. I mean, seriously, you've got some beautiful energies to work with. Um, and it looks like this is going to be a time that you're going to see things really grow if you put the work into it. Come out of your shy. If you're feeling shy or you're feeling a little bit not sure if it's the right step, they're saying you need to start coming out of it. You need to start actually being that cardinal, embracing your cardinal energy. Take charge. Take charge in whatever this is. And it's you have the possibilities here to really have what it is that you are wanting. Um, yeah, so that is what I got, what they gave me. I don't feel the need that they want me to clarify any of this. Um, so I think I'm going to leave it right here. You've got a lot of opportunities to really expand this month, Libra. Beautiful. Um, and again, like I was saying, if you your if Libra is um, your rising sign, you know, take this even a little bit deeper because it being in your first house and that being about self, self confidence with the Leo card, be bold, make the first move. That feels like a very Leo kind of energy as well. Um, so if that means you want to change your hair or you want to, <coughs> excuse me, do something that is about self, go for it. This is the time. This is the time. So, okay. So Libra, I'm going to just close this reading off. It's going to be, an, it's a nice kind of quick one, but um, hopefully you find something in here that energizes you. And um, if you already are somewhere on this path, you're moving in the right direction. It's looking really beautiful. All right, so we're going to pull one card out of Pearls of Wisdom for you, and then we'll close the reading off. Looks really nice. A little bit of, you know, using your logic to really think things out here, really get very decisive on what it is you are wanting, what you're going after, uh, and then you're gonna, you can just make the plans. Okay, we've got wow, we've got two that came out, and. Remember who you are. Remember your gifts, your talents, all of that stuff. Uh, because it is really going to, I think it's going to, believing in yourself is really going to propel you forward. It just, it just is. All right, so we've got guidance that came out. A little card with a gorgeous little angel up there. It says, you are a beautiful soul providing a guiding light to others on their spiritual journey. Affirmation, I am a role model for others. <coughs> so maybe you're considering doing a, a career in where you mentor others. You know, maybe you are a teacher or a, um, you know, maybe you work with mental health or, you know, maybe you're a coach of some kind. And you're offering, you offer people guidance and help them through things, or maybe you are, you know, a life coach, um, or maybe you're considering that. Well, and if you are, you know, this card is affirming that. And then we have wisdom, and it says, "Do you define yourself by others' expectations? Release fears and past beliefs, and life will take care of itself and flow. Trust your inner wisdom." So that's where I think that's what they're asking about the hermit is like, you know, if you have any doubts, as I said at the very beginning, you can succeed. You have the wisdom. Release whatever fear, whatever, anything that might be kind of negative that may be holding you back from what, moving forward. Try and work through that this month around the new moon um, because I think that's going to really free you. And it is really going to start making a lot of room for you to allow a lot of positive things, people, situations, etc. to really come into your life. So it's a really beautiful reading for you, Libra. So I hope you found something helpful here.
And um, I wish you a beautiful new moon coming up right away. Until next time, take care.